We uh, are here this morning to greet our students, our virtual students, the many that are listening via the YU Torah website. And I'd like to say just the thought of Divrei Torah and tie it in with Rosh Hashanah and what YU and the website, one of the goals that we're trying to accomplish. We all are aware there's the famous uh, elucidation of Rabbi Nusajagon, why we blow shofar. He gives about 10 different reasons, and he shows that shofar reminds us of the entire saga of the future people, what was, what is, and what will be. Briyat Olam, the shofar was blowing. Matan Torah, the shofar was blowing. Uh, during Bayat Rishon, Bayat Sheni, the Avodat Hamigdash, the shofar was blowing. And of course, the shofar represents tshuva. Uh, the shofar represents the entire destiny of the Jewish people, both in our moments of glory and happiness and our moments of despair and tribulation. You have in the shofar the, uh, the tekiyo, which is optimism, which is proudness. We have achieved, we are confident. And then we have, of course, the Shvarim Trua. As Chazal explained, it's different types of cries. Sometimes you cry incessantly, sometimes you're sobbing. And it represents the moments in our long exile where we did collectively a Shvarim and Trua of the Jewish people. But we can't forget about the future, that there's going to be the Takiyah, the Takiyah Gedola, the yin gathering of the exiles, Mashiach Zitkeinu, and all this is represented by the Shofar. When I was in the rabbinate, uh, you know, the years from 61 to 69, before we went in Aliyah, when we were kicked out of the yeshiva, giving smicha at the age of 23, there were no kol of them then, either you knew how to learn, well, there was no hope for you, 23 into the rabbinate. So my first rabbinate uh, was in Lower Marion Synagogue, which was a small shtel. I was the second rabbi. I was just beginning. But there, essentially, most of the members that I had contact with were Shomrei Shabbos. A year later, when I joined the yeshiva faculty and I had to be within commuting distance of the yeshiva, I became the first rabbi of a new synagogue in suburban Essex County, the first Orthodox synagogue. It was Maplewood, South Orange. Today, that area is flooded with Torah. But we were the first. And there, most of my work was with non-observant Jews. And many times I was asked, Rabbi, where can we get a brief history of the Jewish people? How can we find out who we are? And I would tell them immediately, just take a Marsa to Rosh Hashanah, open up the Musaf service, take, then it was the Birnbaum we use today, probably be the Art Scroll or the Rav's Marsa put out by the OU, and, and just go through the Musaf service, the 30 psukim that we add on to the davening the Malkiyot, the, the uh, Zichronot, the Shofrat, and in those 30 Pesukim, you will find the entire saga of the Jewish people, the entire destiny, the entire charge, the entire romance of the Jewish people with God, with Torah, with Jewish history. And of course, this is why we blow Shofar. And when you talk about Yeshiva University, you speak in terms of an institution that began in the United States in 1886. Just think for a moment what America was like then. The chances of success were like one in a million. It's like winning the lottery and taking that ticket that takes it all. And, and dedicated people on the east side of New York, and they wanted to bring the message of chauffeur to the United States, that the generation being born and bred and raised there should have commitment to their history, to their people, to the blood in their genes, to their forebears. And of course, out of that came Yeshiva University by the 1930s and 
40s, there were certainly more yeshiva that developed. There already was competition on the American scene. The immigrants came in. They built their institutions. The Hasidic world came into America. But the one that began it and still continues blowing the shofar so beautifully and has educated tens of thousands, if not more, of dedicated Jewish youth is Yeshiva University. And our website gives you a chance from afar to join into this educational, intellectual, emotional effort. And Baruch Hashem, YU, YUTorah.org, we attempt to do our little share in blowing the shofar and bringing this miracle about. May I wish all my wonderful students from all different segments of the Jewish people, may I wish you beleva nefesh, a birchat hedjot, but from a Jew who breeds the year of the Har HaKodesh of Yerushalayim daily. May we have a ktiva v'chatima tova l'shnat osha v'osha with an aleph and an ayin, Shalom v'reiut olenu v'al kol Yisrael. Thank you very, very much.